हेलो एवरीवन आई एम सजाद एंड टुडे वी विल डिस्कस मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट एंड डिमांडिंग टॉपिक व्हिच इज कैलकुलेशन ऑफ लीडिंग फॉइल एंड फॉर्मिंग फॉइल फॉर ब्लिस्टरिंग अ स्पेसिफिक बैच साइज ऑफ द टैबलेट्स और कैप्सूल इफ यू आर वर्किंग इन फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्रीज यू नो दैट वी ऑलवेज रिक्वायर्ड अ स्पेसिफिक क्वांटिटी ऑफ प्रिंटेड फॉइल एंड बेस फॉइल फॉर ब्लिस्टरिंग ऑफ अ बैच the question is how we can calculate the exact quantity of foil required for blistering our batch suppose we have a batch size having number of tablets 5 lakh and we want to blister this batch each blister contains 10 tablets so number of blisters will be 5000 5 lakh over 10 is equal to 50000 blisters if you do not know how to calculate blisters from number of tablets the link of video is given in description you can watch so we want to blister 50000 blisters how much quantity of leading foil or printed foil and forming foil or base foil is required for this calculation we will use two, two methods one will be the theoretical method which is based on the dimensions of blister and second one is the actual method which will be based on the actual weighing calculations i will try to elaborate both method because the first method can be used where you are going to launch a new product so you can calculate foils theoretically there may be a variation of 1 or 2% which can be adjusted later on and second method can be used at the place where you have actual product which is already running and you can easily use the second method both methods can be used but according to my concept the second method will be more accurate so the first method is theoretical and second one is actual or practical first we will learn theoretical method in theoretical method we will take the dimensions of blisters which are already mentioned in the drawings of our blister suppose our blister length is blister length is 6 cm and width is 4 cm mean our blister length is 6 cm and width is 4 cm the answer in square cm will be 24 cm square so this will be the length of one blister we will take the length of one blister for aluminium foil or leading foil or printed foil we are calculating first leading foil or printed foil this calculation is for the leading foil or printed foil same method will be used to calculate the forming foil or base foil which is also which may also be pvc pvdc or aluminium foil this is the length of one blister but we will take the length of printed foil for six blister so can so we may face little variations in the weight so for six blisters we will take foil for the six blisters it is a rough diagram so for six blisters length will be 24 into 6 is equal to 144 cm square we will take 144 cm square piece of leading foil and will weight it on the weighing balance suppose its weight is 1.2 g mean weight of six blisters is 1.2 g so the weight of one blister will be 1.2 over 6 is equal to 
zero point two gram. So the weight of one blister foil will be point two gram. We want to calculate foil for fifty thousand blisters. Now we have value of weight for one blister. We will simply multiply fifty thousand blisters with weight of foil for one blister. Zero point two, and answer will be five thousand into point two. The answer will be ten thousand gram. In kilograms, we will divide it with thousand, and answer will be ten kilogram. Mean ten kilogram of leading foil is required to blister fifty thousand blisters. But the important factor is that this is the actual value of the foil required for the blisters. But as you know that we have cuttings of the blisters and we also required some foil for the machine adjustment these are known as scrap factors so we add 1% or 2% scrap factor in our actual calculation this may depend upon your machine type for more efficient machine you require less scrap factor for less efficient machines you require more scrap factor we will add 1% of scrap factor so adding 1% of scrap factor the answer will be 10.1 kg the scrap factor may be up to 3% as i mentioned earlier it depends upon the machine but for your understanding i take 1% as scrap factor how we can exactly calculate scrap factor i will elaborate in the second method so in the same way you will calculate the weight of forming foil mean you will take the dimensions of one blister for forming foil pvc foil pvdc pvdc foil and will take up to 6 blisters or 10 blisters depending upon your feasibility you will calculate the average weight then will find the Weight for one blisters, and in the same way of calculation, you can calculate the weight of forming foil required for blistering fifty thousand blisters. Now we will discuss second method, which is the actual method of calculation, actual or practical calculation. how we will calculate the foil by using practical method of calculation in actual or practical method of calculation basically we take the exact foil required for one blister mean we will install the tooling required for a specific product on the blister machine and will run this foil to take the actual dummy blister mean empty blister the blister taken will not be sealed mean the heat or pressure will not be applied for sealing we will take the or leading foil and forming foil will install it on the blister machine pockets will be formed and then blister will be formed leading foil will come over the forming foil one most important point is that we will not use the sealing mean our heating or pressure will not be applied at the sealing station so, so after cutting we will get the same foil pieces for the blister mean it will have a printed foil piece and forming foil piece with the pockets formed so we will take these pieces you can take in the same way we take 6 or 10 blisters here you can also take 6 or 10 blisters and then weight them to check the weight of foil for 10 blisters and will calculate weight for one blister by taking its average suppose we have a printed foil and we have a these are the pockets which are actually formed in our 
forming foil so first of all we will take six pieces of the foil for the leading foil and we'll check its weight suppose its weight is 1.5 gram and in the same way we will take six pieces of forming foil suppose pvc foil and check its piece its weight is 2.5 gram by taking its average for one blister the weight of foil piece will be 1.5 divided by 6 is equal to 0.25 gram for leading foil and 2.5 divided by 6 is equal to 0.41 gram for the pvc foil so for 50000 blisters we will simply multiply it with the 50000 and the answer will be 0.25 into 50000 12500 gram and in kilograms the answer will be 12.5 kg mean 10.5 kilograms leading foil or printed foil is required for blistering of 50000 blisters and for pvc foil we will multiply 50000 by 0.41 and in kilograms the answer will be 20.5 kg these are the actual values we will again add scrap factor in these values you can add 1% scrap factor in the same way as we added previously this method is more precise because in the first method as we are calculating the length of foils so when the pockets of forming foils are formed there may be some variation in the length so you may observe more variations of calculation in the first method but in the second method as we are taking the weight of original piece of forming foil with form pockets so the weight will be actual and there may be less chances of variation in calculation so how you can calculate the actual scrap factor for actual and practical calculation of scrap factor which will give you the exact value you know that when our blister machine is running a web is formed or scrap is collected in the form of web on the top of the machine in the form of a roll so when your batch is blistered you can calculate the number of blisters and the web formed so so by weighing the weight of scrap which is collected in the form of web and the initial blisters which which were removed during the machine adjustment by calculating the weight of machine adjustment empty blisters and the weight of web you can exactly take the value of scrap factor and you can add those scrap factor in the foil values so, so you can take the exact value of leading foil or forming foil or base foil so i hope you, now you are familiar with the foil calculations there may be many other methods which can be used in pharma but these are the two most commonly used method and easy to remember method if you like the video subscribe my channel and share the video to others till the next video allah hafiz